Hi, good evening, and welcome to PJs with PJ, Pajama Talks with Pastor Jeannie. I am Pastor Jeannie Sortland, and I have the privilege of serving the, the United Methodist Churches of Kensal and Wimbledon, North Dakota. And you can see I have a visitor. I don't know if he'll appear or not. He just had a brawl with his sister. Um, so they're separating until they can coexist peacefully. I remember when I was a kid and my parents would tell me to quit watching the boob tube because, you know, you didn't get anything done when you were watching the tube. And that was the TV. Well, now we've got all these other options for entertainment for kids and adults. Um, and it drives me insane when there's work to be done and I'm working and my kids are absolutely glued to staring at the screen. At least today, we went outside for at least 45 minutes to an hour. Well, and your dad has the iPads. Yeah. Which you have not cared for. Well, Mom, right? basically the whole time you were asleep or like doing a PJs, we were outside for. Well, that's good. Um, but do you think you'd be outside as much if you had the iPads here? No chance. No chance. Okay. Um, and I know I'm guilty myself. I find myself getting sucked into uh, Facebook and not realizing how much time has gone by. And I also like to watch my Hallmark movies and I can watch those. <laughs> yeah, you like to watch those with me, don't you? And I can watch those one right after the other if it's a Sunday afternoon or I just need some, you know, I need a brain drain or just to get into Usually. a numb space. And that's what I find that social media tends to do is I get kind of to a point where I'm just like numb. And, and it doesn't just affect me when I'm on social media. It affects me throughout my day. And so I do have to be careful to manage my social media time and my screen time because I do really think it's taxing on our time and, and taxing on our brains. And um, you don't spend enough time with us. And you don't spend as much time with me when you're on the iPads, right? Yeah. And usually when we're about maybe halfway through a Hallmark movie, we start a new one, literally. We just start a new one. Not usually. We Sometimes. normally finish before we start a new one. Um, so anyway, I'm just kind of talking about, you know, making sure we don't get sucked in. Yesterday's PJ, we talked about not whiling away the time, making the most of our time. And that's kind of the tone from the scripture that we're going to read today from Revelation. Chapter 3, verses 15 through 22. I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were either cold or hot. Okay, so not that numb Facebook brain. I am about to spit you out of my mouth. So if you're lukewarm, you might get spit out. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing. You do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. Okay, so we might think we have all of these things, but we're not really getting it. We're, we're, not, we're not getting the full picture. Therefore, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich. And we talked about that on a PJs quite a while ago about how we are refined by fire, by the hard things in our life. That's what makes us um, the faithful people that we become. Um, so therefore I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich and white robes to clothe you and to keep the shame of your nakedness from being seen and salve to anoint your eyes so that you may see. I reprove and discipline those whom I love. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. So we can repent of the time lost to either watching TV or Netflix or social media. Verse 20, listen, 
I am standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to you and eat with you and you with me. To the one who conquers, I will give a place with me on my throne, just as I myself conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. So these are just some words to help us make, you know, to make us think about, are we giving God our best effort? Um, I know that I am often guilty of no, I am not. And so you can help me stay accountable. Um, and also I could help you stay accountable. So anyway, um, let's just try not to get sucked in. Have a good weekend.